Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to perform device investigations in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal and you already have seen the, the demo attack that we did in the previous video. And now if I go to device inventory, I should see my device, test device 5 here it is, right? So click on hit. And if you have more devices in your lab as well or in the product environment, you will see all the devices here. Right, so uh, coming back to the topic of the video, the device investigation. All right, so Microsoft Defender for Endpoint provides detailed device information including forensics information. Let's say you are a security operation analyst working at a company that has implemented Defender for Endpoint and your primary job is to remediate incidents. You are assigned an incident with alerts related to suspicious PowerShell command line. You start by removing the incident and understand all the related alerts. So, Let's say you go to incidents and alerts. Let's say you don't click on device. You have many devices. You go to incident alerts. You see one incident, right? Here you click on it and then you understand all the related alerts, devices, the evidence, right? So you open the alert page to review the alert story and decide to perform further analysis. You open the device page to provide more context to the incident, right? So this is the alert page and then you go to the device page as well, like we did. And then the overview tab on the device page immediately here would provide concerning information such as the risk level or the exposure level. You select the alerts tab to see a history of alerts for the device. All right. Also, you can see the timeline tab to see a list of events from the device. It will populate soon. Now, you see many suspicious events, right? So, this is where, right? So, I was talking. One, two. If you click on here, you will see about the suspicious events. So, first of all, you, you will use the device inventory list. So, the device inventory list shows the list of the devices in your network. I have only one, but if you click on device here, you will see an inventory list. And it it will show the list of all devices in your network where alerts were generated. By default, the queue displays divides devices with alerts seen in the last 30 days. So if you have more than 100,000, 50,000, so devices on the top will always be the devices with alerts seen in the last 30 days. You select a device to open the device page like we did, right? And then you will see information, domain, risk level, OS platform, other details for easy identification of devices most at risk. So during the onboarding process, the devices list is gradually populated with devices as they begin to report sensor data. And the risk level, the risk level would reflect exposure level. You will see the health status here as well, right? And this is the exposure level which is low. So the risk level would reflect their overall risk assessment of the devices based on a combination of factors, including the type and severity of active alerts on the device. The exposure level reflects the current exposure of the device based on the cumulative impact of its pending security recommendations. All right. If your exposure level says no data available, then the device stopped for more than 30 days. The device OS is not supported or the device has a stale agent. 
Now when it comes to health state, which is this health status, active states is the device that are actively reporting sensor data to the service. Okay. Inactive device that has stopped sending signals, misconfigured device that have impaired communication with service or are unable to send sensor data. And then you have antivirus status as well. This is active, right? Disabled is virus and threat protection is turned off. Not reporting virus and threat protection is not reporting, not updated. It means virus and threat protection is not up to date. All right. So this is what I wanted to share with your uh, the device inventory list. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.